Okay, so I just welded a bunch of stainless steel. You can see right here. I welded the outsides of here, along the bottom, back up to the other side, did a couple tack welds. Inside on the center divider. It's not the best weld in the world, but it's, it's leak proof. And I also put a drain in there. And uh, welded that on, so it's all stainless. And now, here you can see the weld better here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna passivate it, which when you weld, it actually takes away the stainless properties and starts corroding. So what you do is you take an old battery charger, like this, and you set it on the six amps, but you also gotta take, there's a thing that inside there that you have to, um, you have to disconnect the uh, fuse that with a short, like if you touch the two together, it pops a fuse. So you get rid of that fuse and bypass it. So that way, when you do this part, you cut this little metal, it's like maybe eight or 10 gauge wire, something like that, it's kind of fat, maybe 10 or 12, I don't know. Um, and I'm gonna lay this into this brush like this. And I'm gonna tape it down to the handle but I'm gonna get these to kind of be inside the brush. So let me, uh, let me, hold on a second. Okay, so I'm back again. What I did was see how I taped, I put the, through the handle, and I taped it and I kinda of squeezed them. So they're kinda of inside the brush. Because what you wanna do is, when you dip this in a magic solution, you wanna be able to, brush it but use the brush and the metal and what you're gonna do is we're gonna get the special ingredients Hold on okay back to my exploded shop my battery charger my brush my part my cup and my muriatic acid okay, that's the that's the scary shit this is kind of old, I hope it still works. It's uh, this stuff right here. It's from the pool store. And I'm not gonna connect. Hold on. Okay, so I, I got rid of the metal cup and got a plastic one because muriatic acid and metal kind of, I don't want to ruin my cup. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna turn that thing on. I don't know if it's on or not, but Basically, see that spark? Did you? Okay, because right now I have my brush, the wires to the positive on the battery thing, and then I have my negative to the thing. And I'm gonna dip this stuff into the muriatic acid. And basically, brush it on. And you'll, can you hear the sparks? It's kind of hard to do as a hold of the phone at the same time, but basically this electricity is sparking on the, with the muriatic acid, don't ask me the chemical how this is happening, but, but uh, you can see the electricity and the muriatic acid is, uh, changing the color of the weld. And, man, I can't hardly talk at the same time, but let me stop and explain what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm gonna put this back here, and that's short out. Okay, so, um, back in the late 80s, early 90s, this old Dutch guy at Delta Sheet Metal in Van Nuys, he told me, um, how to passivate metal. It's just a weird old school way of doing it and it just brings back the stainless properties of stainless because when you weld it, it'll, again, I read this once, I don't remember what I'm talking about, but it, it takes away its uh, stainless properties. But when you passivate it with electricity muriatic acid, it brings it back. And again, an old tip from an old Dutch guy in the 80s and I've been doing it all the time and it works really cool. It'll make the welds all shiny again. Um, you can see that this is the back side of a stainless weld because they're pretty gross. But I did, I was back purging it. I made a little bracket here 
And when I weld it, I put the, my, my uh, welding gas, my argon, um, on the back side. I purged it with gas on the back side of the weld so the weld doesn't look so bad. But then when you do the passivating, it uh, brings it back to its stainless properties. You see the back part doing a little... You can see how it changed, it's like, it's got this copper color to it, but that you can scotch bite that off. Another interesting thing is, sorry I'm not wearing gloves or anything, or eye protection other than my reading glasses. I'm a little old school, uh, I should be using it, but uh, I don't. So, my bad, um, let me finish this up. So. The more I do this, really rubbing the, bat the wires into the, well, it's turning like this coppery color. It's kind of cool. But also I notice my battery charger's starting to smoke a little bit because that's why you disconnect that safety thing. This is really stinky, super unsafe. Chemicals, fire, shorting out, no glasses. Man, I should not even be showing this, but um, <laughs> it's just the way you pass me metal. And uh, it's kind of weird. Maybe one of you can tell me if this is even right or wrong. Because check that out. See how it's like that color? Look at that. How weird. I'm going to get all those little inside wells. Because I'll show you later when I uh, sand it off. And it'll be all shiny. So, yeah, see that copper showing? A little copper, I think it's like, it's like uh, taking the coating off. Yeah, what if this is totally screwing up? But I know it's not. I'm going for it. You know what? This thing's smoking. Woohoo! Okay, I'm going to take it out and rinse it, and I'll be back in a minute. So I rinsed it off, and uh, I can breathe again. There's the, looks a little... Looks a little, I don't know. But I'm going to clean up a little bit and I'll show you what it looks like. So here it is. All cleaned up. Shiny. Insides look much better. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of gross. And I'll scotch right some more. But either way, it cleans up really nice. And there you have an ice drawer. Or a Gulfstream airplane. So fancy people. Can I have a drink? <laughs>